weather with meteorologist David Burgett. Today was a beautiful fall day across southeastern Minnesota and northern Iowa. We finally had temperatures that were kind of around our average. We were a few degrees above average for this time of year, around 67 in the city. But this is our sunset tonight from Lisa in Preston. Beautiful skies right there, lots of light blue and some oranges and some yellows coming in from that sun. So it's absolutely gorgeous today and even tonight is no attest to that. So we do have 50 degrees here in the city. So came down quite a few degrees here over the course of the last few hours. We do have some clear skies tonight that's making way for some cooler temperatures. But across the region, we do have temperatures into the mid to lower 50s in some areas. And if you're in Mason City, you're already hitting those upper 40s right now at 47 degrees. And then if you're above that, I-90 corridor. You're just hovering around the 50 degree mark here if you're in Rochester and 52 in Dodge County there. But the main story today was really our wind gusts aside from the nice weather. We did have some windy conditions today with gusts at the 40 miles per hour here in Rochester and Mason City. Mid 30s here into Charles City in northern Iowa and Austin. Well, I-90 corridor and then we do have Winona that was at 26 miles per hour for those gusts today. Those gusts for tomorrow for your Friday will be into the mid to upper 20s into the afternoon hour. So just be aware conditions for tomorrow will be a little more breezy and currently on our radar right now we do have some rain some little showers here that are off into the Mississippi River area the atmosphere is a little drier for today for tonight so I don't think those are making it to the ground but we do have some cloud coverage coming in from the west right now and this is from a low pressure system that is sitting off here into Canada that is you can tell it's a low pressure system actually because there's a counterclockwise motion to the winds over here and we, that's actually ushering some showers into Minneapolis area just north of there and near Duluth to the western por portions of Duluth. And we are going to see those into the early morning hour, into the later morning hours of tomorrow and into your Friday. But we are at breezy and cool conditions through today we saw today and through tonight. Friday, we are going to see those showers into those for the isolated to more stray conditions into the late morning and afternoon hours. We are going to see the first frost for a possible first frost into this weekend as well. So tracking this out for you tonight, we do have temperatures into the lower 50s and upper 40s in some portions around 7 to 8 30 hour for tomorrow morning. We are going to see the potential for these stray showers to start popping in and then we into the afternoon hours. We are going to see more more ice isolated conditions to a little bit more stray too. So temperatures tomorrow at noon will be into the mid 40s and lower 40s in some places. We should be peaking around 49 to 50 degrees here in Rochester, but we do have those stray popcorn like showers that's popping up here into the Friday evening hours. But by fr Friday night football will be all dry across the region for the most part, and then will be dry with more cloud coverage on Saturday at 10 a.m. So again, this rainfall timing here is going to be around 10 a.m. into the 3 p.m. hour for more isolated chances into the 4 and 5, 6 hour. We are going to see more stray conditions for tomorrow. And if you're thinking about that first frost for our low temperatures this weekend, we're going to see temperatures dip down into the upper 30s and then into the mid 30s by the beginning of next week. So on Monday and Tuesday and even Wednesday, as we get closer to that freezing point, we could potentially see a frost risk here for our first frost of the season. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to take your plants in or cover those up so they don't get more brittle from the frost. So we have some mainly clear skies tonight. Wind, west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So a little breezy overnight. And for tomorrow, we're going to see those showers roll through for the morning hours and clearing out more towards the afternoon and evening for those windy conditions and temperatures into the mid to upper 40s for in lower 50s in some areas. But overall, we're going to have lots of nice sunshine for the rest of the week and below average temperatures for the rest of the week to come. Caitlin.